guys, welcome back to another video on Let's Cook Back. Today we're gonna be making tamales again. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of ways to make tamales, but this time it's not gonna be meat tamales. They're gonna be sweet tamales. So we're gonna go ahead and make some pineapple tamales today. They're very easy to make. Um, it does have a lot of ingredients. Well, they're not that many. They're easy ingredients to find, but they're very easy to make. So let's get started with those ingredients. Okay, so we will be using maseca this time. I did not get masa preparada from the store. I'm gonna prepare my own masa because I wanna give it that, that touch, that flavor. So, but you could, you more than welcome to buy masa um, from the store. I think you need to get it without being prepared. Sin preparada so you could add all your ingredients because they, I think they use pork lard. So we don't want pork lard. <laughs> So we're gonna be using mama seca, the one that says for tamal, okay? And then of course, we're gonna use our corn husk. I got a small one, an eight ounce, cause I'm only making a little bit. And then we have pineapple. I have crushed pineapple. Usually it's one can per pound, but I'm gonna add one and a half of the crushed pineapple per pound. I'm gonna do two pounds today. And then we have pineapple um, tidbits. Then we have some pineapple juice that we'll be using to mix all the mixture together instead of using water, but you could use water. And then we're gonna use lechera, or you could substitute it for granulated sugar. If we need it to be a little bit more sweet, then that's when I will add some sugar. If not, we'll just leave it with the lechera. And then I have um, the shortening sticks, which I'm using butter flavor. It's half a cup per pound. I'll be using one whole um, stick. And then we have some cinnamon, some baking powder, vanilla, some butter, and some raisins. And I will leave all the ingredients and um, measurements on the description box. Okay, so first what we're gonna have to do is soak them in water. Um, on the instructions, it actually says to soak them for 10 minutes with hot water, but I recommend at least 30 minutes. You want them to be very soft. So since they're not too many today, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this pot and we'll put hot water in them and then we'll soak them. Usually I clean my sink and put them in the sink, but they're not too many tamales today. That's when we do like a whole bunch of tamales. But let's go ahead and well, let me put them like this. You want this, the water to cover everything up, okay? So this is what you want. You want to soak them completely. And I use my molcajete um, to for my morcajete, la piedra del morcajete, I'm gonna use it just so they could um, stay down, so they could hold it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be using two pounds, which this is a little bit over for four pounds. So usually it would be half a bag, but what I did, I measured it to have two pounds, and then I weighed this to make sure I had the exactly the, the pounds needed. So it was a total of six cups and a half of maseca for tamales, okay? That's what makes it the two pounds. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is mix our, our dry ingredients, which are only these two. The baking powder, it is one tablespoon per pound. So we have two pounds. So I'm gonna be using two. Let's go ahead and um, actually let's level it out, okay? So that's one. That's two. And then the, van the vanilla, the cinnamon, um, it's gonna be teaspoon, one teaspoon per pound. So let's go ahead and do one, two. This is optional, but it does give it a, a good flavor. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this well. Let's go ahead and set this aside and then let's go ahead and start with our shorty. If you don't want to use butter flavor, you could use the vegetable um, oil as well or the sticks of these, but in vegetable oil. But the butter gives it a very good flavor to your tamales. Let's add our butter. If you were gonna you be using sugar instead of the lechera, this is when you add your sugar and the sugar usually is half a cup per pound and we're gonna go ahead and make, blend this together, okay?
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add one lechera. Okay, so now that we have this mixed and this mixed, oh my God, this, you guys, I tried it, it's so good. And it only has one lechera, I imagine, when it has all the rest, but okay. Our pineapple juice, let's go ahead and start adding it. It's usually like two cups per pound. I think this one gives me like four cups, but let's go ahead and mix it. I did wash my hands, because I'm gonna use my hands right now. So once we do this, I end up using the whole can. So my mom did say, well, the last time we did it, it was like about two and a half per, per pound, but it's three cups per pound. So we use six cups of um, juice. Now let's start adding what we mixed. I'm gonna go start blending it with this because my hand did get tired. It is tiring, you guys, when you guys make your own um, preparation. I'm gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of vanilla. And I'm gonna add the remaining of the lechera. I'm gonna add the, the other lechera that we have because your dough can't be hard it needs to be very very soft because if it comes out hard once you cook them it's like you're gonna choke so make sure that they're it's very like really nice and soft what i'm gonna do now is go ahead and our pineapple Drain them so it doesn't have that much juice. But save the juice just in case you need it. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is adding our crushed pineapples. I think the bowl I got is a little too tiny. I'm used to doing large amounts, so I use a big one. But since it was less, I said maybe this one will work. But I think I'm going to have to transfer it. Let's just go ahead and just fold it in. Okay, so I did end up transferring it because then I wasn't going to be able to mix it well. So let's continue adding our crushed pineapple. Then we're going to go ahead and add these. I like adding these because they're bigger in the chunks, but the chunk ones are too big. So I like adding these just so you could have the, you know, you can see the pieces of pineapple because the crushed ones actually like disappear. Now I'm going to go ahead and add our raisins. Mix it. Raisins, you could, I mean, don't put too much, but really there's no measurement. You could add how much you want if you like a lot of raisins. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and try it to see if it's good of the sweetness. It's nice and sweet, but I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more sugar just because remember when you cook them, it does lose its flavor a little bit because we're going to steam them. Just like when you do the meat tamales, remember I told you to add a little bit of salt in the water, but of course I'm not going to add salt to this water. So let's add a little bit more sugar. So usually it should be half a cup per pound, but let's do half a cup first. Stir, and then we'll try it again. Mine was perfect with half a cup more, but that's up to you, how, depending how sweet you like it. 
um, I think it needs a little bit more raisins. I'm gonna add a little bit more raisins to this. And the reason why I told you to save your um, your juice from your pineapple is because just in case your dough looks too thick, then you go ahead and add your juice to make it, you know, not too thick. Like you want this. This is the consistency you want. You don't want it too thick, okay? And if it's too watery, like if it's more watery than this, and you think it's not gonna work out, then add a little bit more maseca and then be mixing it until you get this. This is what you want it to fall off. Alrighty, now that we have our dough ready and our corn hus husk, I already took them out of the water. All you gotta do is drain the water. You do not have to pat dry them or anything. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna use the side that is smooth, okay? There's a, a side that is rough, that's gonna be the outside. The smooth part, it's the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and do, just go ahead and get some. Like a spoon, put it right in the middle, and then just fold it. Or you could tie them up if you wanna do extra work and tie them up, that's good. But all that's all you gotta do. So let's continue on doing this. So let's continue finishing our dough. Okay guys, we already finished with our tamales. I'm gonna put them to cook. Usually when I cook a small amount, I use a smaller pot that I use like to cook my beans or to do my caldos. And I don't have the, um, sorry, I don't have the, the steamer rack. So I usually use a plate and then put water on it, which I showed you in my other videos. Today when I went to Cardenas, I found this one for $12, you guys. So there was a smaller one. I think it was 10 quart. I'm not sure for like $8. And there was bigger ones. So if you don't have one, go ahead and um, go get one. I'm pretty sure you can find them in a, any other like Mexican market. Right now they have a lot of them because you know Christmas is coming, so we use a lot of tamales on Christmas. I washed it already. I did not take this off yet because I wanted to show you guys that it's a 20 quart pot with the steamer wrap. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is these are perfect because they already have the amount of water that you have to put in there. So what you're gonna do is fill it up to where the line's at, and then you're gonna put your steamer in there. Right where the line, then we're gonna fix our tamales. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with the water. Let me remove this, cause I, I was gonna remove it ahead of time, but I said, no, let me show them. And I, I washed it with it on. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it up with water, and then I'll show you how to fix up tamales. Okay, so now I already have the steamer rack and we put water. Let's go ahead and fix our tamales. Okay, so I got a total of 50 tamales. Some are smaller, some are bigger because the corn husk, it depends. If they're too small, you could layer another one over it. So the extras that I had, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on top. If you don't have any extras, you could just use foil paper. Um, you could put a cloth, whatever you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover them up. Okay, so once I cover them up, let's go ahead and turn this on on medium or medium to low. It depends on your, on your stove as well. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cook them for one hour. They should be done in an hour, but remember if you're cooking more tamales, it'll be longer. But you just have to keep on checking them like an hour and then 30 more minutes and see when um when they're done so we're gonna go ahead and leave this cooking for an hour and then we'll come back when they're done so it's been an hour let's take one from on top and let's take one from the middle but if the top ones are ready all of these should be ready pull one out from the middle When they're very hot, remember that dough is really, really soft, okay? But what you want is the dough to come apart from the corn husk, which this is done. 
It looks like it's probably not cooked, but it is. Once it cools down, it'll get its perfect shape. So that's what you want. Okay, so our tamales are all done. You have to let them cool down a little bit. Um, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the, vi of the video, make sure your um, pineapple juice and your pineapples and all that, it's room temperature, okay? Make sure it's not cold. And if you're not gonna use pineapple juice and you're gonna use water, make sure it's warm water, like not super hot, but the warmest that you could handle. And um, these are naturally with no um, coloring, but if you wanna make them more like a like a yellow color you could go ahead and add a couple drops of the food coloring into your masa but i mean this is not for sale this is for home so let's go ahead and try this these tamales are so good they have um pineapple and raisins they're sweet these are sweet tamales you can enjoy with a cup of coffee or something when you're tired of all the meat tamales but let's go ahead and try them and these actually taste good when they're already at room temperature as well um, but it's up to you however you like to enjoy but anyways you guys we had came to the end of this video and i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment share and subscribe you guys let your friends and family know to subscribe to the channel and i really really appreciate it for all the new subscribers that we have thank you very much and let's go ahead and try this mm, it's good See, the reason why I told you that I added the other ones, because that way you could have pineapple. And the crushed pineapples actually disappear into the masa. But this is really good, you guys. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on Let's Cook That.